I have attended three gazings. The first time I attended gazing, and when Connie was looking into my eyes, I felt a sense of joy, a sense of peace, a sense of bliss. I was laughing. I just wanted to burst out laughing. Such an overwhelming feeling. It was so beautiful, so complete. The second time that I attended gazing, as Connie was looking into my eyes, I felt those eyes were so familiar. I was not able to place them. I didn't know whose eyes they were, but they seemed so familiar. And also, there was so much of fragrance that the room was filled with. And not only me, several others also shared the same fragrance. They also felt it. And it was so profound. And it was so intense. It was unmistakable and cannot, could not be ignored. Today, the third gazing, as Connie looked at me, and the instructions were usual, try to keep your mind as calm as possible. The mind was calm, like a placid lake, but then suddenly thoughts came in of people whom I know very little about, and about their illnesses. It just came very intensely and then left. It happened twice during this gazing. And then the body went very supple, as if it was boneless. And I felt after some time that I just would want to go into slumber. Not that I did, but I just felt so unable to do anything. So these were the three experiences that I've had during the gazing. Sai Ram. this session of gazing turned out to be very special. Even before the session started, I felt the presence of many masters and there was a lot of stillness in the air. And once Connie started gazing, when she gazed at me, I felt myself locking into Adi Shankara's consciousness. There was a long moment of stillness and I felt that I was not in my body and there was a tremendous silence and it was followed by a sense of burning, uh, a tremendous sense of burning in my lower back as though it was on fire. This sensation and this consciousness persisted for a long uh, moment of time and at the end of this moment, I felt an immense vision of Mahavatar Babaji and then with that this whole experience came to an end but all through the sessions I was at, I remained with a heightened sense of consciousness and tremendous stillness and my body was trembling and shivering quite a bit all through I, it was also accompanied by a um, wave of cold breeze around my head uh, this was an extremely blissful experience and um, uh, thank you very much, Connie, for this tremendous experience. Sai Ram. Thank you, Connie. Many thanks. This is my second gazing. You know, this, this looks like uh, a continuation of my first gazing because it is a repetition of whatever happened the last time. The same way... Uh, a few seconds after uh, the gazing started and the eyes turned and the familiar eyes of Swami and then the, the, the uh, same thing continued and then this time I had not brought my uh, photograph which la last time but there was a voice which was telling don't worry all those people also have been blessed and the gazing has happened for them and another surprising thing happened was uh, again mind went blank few minutes uh, before the gazing itself and it's still even now continuing to be blank. Blank in the sense that there are no thoughts and uh, like last time it is just continuing like that as if I am just, I mean it is very difficult to explain this. Uh, in between there was one more uh, occasion when the voice came and said that uh, you know you have written all those things and then sent it across, all of them have been blessed and all of them have been taken care. 
one more wonderful location and thank you Connie this is all thank you the first time I heard of Connie Shaw was in uh, September of 2013 when I received an email from uh, Puma Krishnan who was back then the local Phyllis Crystal Cutting the Ties program coordinator uh, and uh, I shared the details of the email with my wife Kavita and uh, both of us were very excited about what we learned of Connie from uh, Ted Henry's Soldier videos as well as other links that we found on the net. My wife attended the first session because we have a two and a half year old child and I can tell you that very night when we, sh when we returned home I received a phone call out of nowhere from a person based in the Middle East who I hadn't kept in touch with in a very long time. What's interesting to note is that uh, my wife had uh, sent out the intention and uh, you know, I had received the phone call. So when Uma announced uh, that she was organizing a second session uh, with Connie in November 2013, I jumped on the opportunity. Because as is the case with Connie's sessions, uh, the slots get filled up pretty fast. During the session that I attended, I felt a uh, phenomenal presence of uh, divinity. I felt uh, the entire room you know, where the gazing was being held, uh, filled with uh, divine light and uh, grace being showered on each and every person there. I had goosebumps all over. Um, you know, I came out of that session uh, a changed person. Uh, my uh, sense of awareness of divinity had uh, reached a new level. Both my wife and I, you know, have uh, since attending Connie's sessions felt a heightened sense of, uh, of uh, constant integrated awareness with divinity. I was fortunate enough to attend a second session with Connie which was in January of 2014 organized by my sister Rima in Dubai. Every moment in our lives my wife and I have uh, felt uh, miracles. Every moment becomes so special and uh, has become so special for us. Um, we, are, uh, we can't thank Divinity enough uh, for gifting us uh, uh, the association with the Mahapurusha, uh, such as Kani. I pray that uh, more and more people are gifted this opportunity. Thank you very much. So Kani's gaze was extremely loving and motherly. During the gaze, I experienced complete um, oneness with Satya Sai Swami, uh, wherein slowly her face sort of disappeared and there was just Swami there. And I felt as though he was there throughout and I turned into this little child that we, he was constantly playing with me and um, just taking care of me, which made me feel very, very reassured and loved in a fear, feeling that I was always taken care of and I will be taken care of constantly. I was at uh, Puma's house for the gazing of Connie Shaw. I didn't know anything about it. Uh, I was just intrigued and curious to know what it was all about. Who is Connie and what the gazing is all about, uh, etc. And then we start here the session and when Connie starts the gazing I'm staring right into her eyes and uh, what I find is that there is a painting behind Connie and while gazing right into her eyes I start obviously some part of my vision is also at the painting and I start seeing the touch of life by Michelangelo which is at the Sistine Chapel which is uh, called the creation of Adam. There is no Sistine Chapel and there isn't a Michelangelo painting behind her and nothing close to what I saw for those fraction of seconds. And uh, yeah, that was different because I wasn't even thinking about it and not that I studied the painting or I had anything to do with it but all of a sudden this flash of light and few seconds I see as if definitely there is this painting which is behind her in the horizontal format I don't see the entire thing because she's sitting and what I see is actually just the God which is giving the touch of life to the other person. So what I see is just the God bit in the horizontal and uh, and his whole hand stretched and that's about it. And it was lovely because it was the touch of life. It was the beginning of everything and it just felt great. And the whole experience was superb. Thanks Connie. Thanks Booma. And I love to do the session again whenever I have the opportunity. 
uh, sign out. This was my fourth gazing session. I have a friend in need whose photograph I had brought along and I had given it to a lady sitting in front uh, of the camera. And during the gazing I noticed that the photograph had slipped, it had fallen down and I thought that the opportunity for my friend was lost. But I got this inner voice saying that no, uh, the photograph is not needed. Even if you think of that person, the presence will reach them. And uh, I did that and I felt that she was being blessed. And four different people came to mind um, with whatever they specifically needed. And I thought of them and I felt that even they were being blessed. You kind of doubt these things sometimes. You wonder if it's just your mind playing games with you, if you're imagining uh, these things. But imagine my surprise when uh, in the gazing itself, there were two other people who said the very same thing, that even they had received uh, an inner guidance from uh, the masters telling them to think of those people who they would have wanted to attend uh, but couldn't attend. And that even if they thought of them, it was good enough for the masters to bless them. So uh, this was good. And uh, I had come to this particular gazing with uh, no specific agenda, just wanting to participate and uh, enjoy the process. During the gazing, I very strongly felt uh, a stream of love and healing light coming from Connie and blessing us all. And uh, in this gazing, as well as the last one, I very strongly felt a sense of purpose uh, in that gazing from the other side like we of course are keen to come and uh, be in the, involved in this gazing process but in both these sessions I felt very strongly as if the masters too were very keen to use this opportunity to bless us to uh, interact with us and uh, like I said I felt a sense of urgency a sense of, sense of purpose a sense of keenness on their end to, uh, in this process uh, in fact, in the third session, at, at one point, I got this very visual image in my mind. It felt as if we were all who were attending were like children, like sleeping children. Sleeping, about to wake up soon, uh, but sleeping children. And sleeping not in the normal sense, but spiritually asleep. And the masters were like um, nurses or like mothers. They were coming and <clears throat> blessing us all. Uh, not just specific to our needs, but it seemed as if they were aware of us as souls in our journey and they were uh, very purposefully blessing us with what we needed. And uh, at the end, when I uh, everybody was sharing, I shared this uh, with Connie, wondering if somebody else felt the same because I felt this so strongly. And Connie in reply said something which kind of confirmed or complimented what I had said and because she, she felt the same. So... Um, I then realized that there's a lot more to gazing than uh, what we can think and uh, I think we need to thank once again uh, Connie and Jim for facilitating this wonderful process. We are very grateful to the masters for so unconditionally uh, sharing their love and light with us and I hope I can share this love and light with the world around me. Thank you so much for this. Sai Ram.